Hey, what is up? Mary and J08. New episode of Talkin' Tunes with Sean. My music series where we talk everything music. And we got a pretty interesting topic today I want to talk about. <clears throat> we got a double rap header. Uh, two big releases just came out together. Um... Two artists that I absolutely love. Mac Miller came out with Circles um, that his family actually put out, the first album after his death. And Eminem surprised everyone out of nowhere and came out and just instantly dropped a digital album out of nowhere. Music to be murdered by. He just basically went on Twitter and it was like, here's the album, stream it now, it's out. And um, an, an interesting bit of controversy I was reading was that some fans, I guess, of Mac Miller's were upset because Eminem dropped this album on the same day as Circles. <laughs> you know... I, I don't think people understand that, you know, the music industry isn't always as easy as planned as that. This stuff could have been planned a long, long time in the making, these dates, on both their ends. It's not like they just woke up that morning and, and you know, Mac Miller's family and Eminem said, you know what, we're going to release this album today. It, it, I'm sure this was planned. Um, it's not as simple as the fans are making it. Why don't you just embrace it and just, you know, enjoy music altogether? You know, you don't have to be a fan of both, but, you know, if you are, you know, you're in for a real treat. Um, I absolutely loved both albums. Now, I thought M's was to be expected. I mean, you know, everybody's all shocked of, you know, the lyrics and everything. Listen, if you're still shocked and upset of what Eminem is doing... 2020 hats off to Eminem that's a pretty hard damn thing to do hats off he's doing something right it's the whole point of his music so he's obviously in the right direction again with his album as far as Mac Miller circles it's absolutely a brilliant album in my opinion I just sat down listening to it for I think the fourth time in a row and it just takes you atmospherically to another level um, his music always does this. His last album did this. And this is um, a continuation of that last album. That's why his family wanted to release this to the fans. <clears throat> An absolutely amazing, amazing album. It it really... Um, it's almost, you know... it's I, I always refer to this um, to Tupac when stuff came out after his death. Because the lyrics are still so relevant even today. But I mean, it's almost like this album, he's speaking to us. It's Some of the lyrics are just like, wow. Like scary, spooky. Um, and just, you know, it's, it's really something. And I was reading a lot that he's like, after this album, you know, that he's making even new fans now. You know, even after his death. And that's really... That, that's a nice thing, you know, they're going back now, listening to his older discography, listening to his backlog, and uh, catching up on him, and they're like, you know, how did I miss him through all the years when he was alive? That happens, unfortunately, a lot. Um, this album, I think, is going to do very, very well. Um, it even reminds me a lot of his older stuff. Um, with a lot of newer stuff mixed in, so it's a lot of combination of both. But it's just a very atmospheric, very emotional album. Um, so I, I really do like it. And again, Eminem's album, um, you know, is really growing on me. There's some really catchy songs, some some great hooks, and some great beats. Um, off of his album here, "Music to Be Murdered By." So, um. I saw Eminem a couple times live in concert. I actually saw him on an anger management tour. I would say, oh God, it had to be 
2000 with Limp Biscuit, I want to say Exhibit and Papa Roach. And I'll never forget this. They were sitting down on a they had brought a couch out. There was a there was a contest where you could actually win to go sit and play video games with them on stage. They actually had brought a couch out, and I remember the Dreamcast was big at the time. And Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit was on the couch with Eminem. They were friends at the time, mind you. This was before all the beef started. And they were all sitting on the couch playing Dreamcast during their intermissions of their band sets. That was some classic shit right there. I think they were I don't know what they were playing. They, were, they might have been playing an NBA game or Sonic Adventures or something. But that was some classic shit right there. I remember Eminem was goofing off on stage. And I think later on Papa Roach came up. Um good good stuff. Good stuff. But that was a fun concert. Um but yeah, two great albums. And um you definitely should check these out. They're both out now. And I guess I uh, I'm a I'm a collector. I'm a physical kind of guy, so I put out an order for circles, but I guess it's not shipping out until March, the physical version. And I guess the only way that you could get the physical version of M&M's is through his website. And I guess that's shipping out in a month. So if you want physical copies of these albums, you got to jump through hoops because it's all about being digital now. And I think there's even vinyl coming out on both albums too, so that'll be pretty cool. Take care, guys. Talking tunes with Sean. We got lots more to cover. I'll be seeing you again soon.